and welcome to the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 91 where I talk about coffee, audio and other things that keep me busy. So let's play some music, let's drink some coffee. So as you can see here, this is the coffee that I am drinking. And this is your standard pour over method. So we have this little curve to catch the coffee. And then of course we have the coffee here in this filter. As you can see there, it says 102, meaning you need a number two filter and this is something that I got from an elderly lady and this filter actually is 40 years old and I love using it. So if I take out this for now, you can see it has three little holes down there. Everything in coffee making makes a difference. So for example, about the messy camera work. This is a, let me give you a good comparison. This is a bigger one. And as you can see, this is only two holes and two big holes. And depending on the amount of holes and how big they are, your grind needs to be coarser or finer. Well, that's what coffee is all about. But this of course was the basic method that you can do at home. I found this carafe in the thrift store for maybe one euro fifty. I got this one for free on sale uh, second hand somewhere around 15 euros they are asking every now and then in a thrift store you will find one for a few bucks and this will make a 
perfect way of making coffee and a cheap way of making coffee. Okay, so what do I have for you today? Well, today I want to invite you to a little experiment. So this, a Samsung microphone, a USB microphone, if I am doing voiceovers, this is the microphone that I'm using downstairs in the office where I do my editing and stuff. And one of you guys said to me, why not, why don't you every now and then just make a video of the system playing? Now, of course, the problem with YouTube is that you can get into all kinds of trouble. But today I'm doing an experiment. Probably this video will be demonetized. So if you want to help me, the free way to help me is to give this a like and have some action in the comment section. So what have I done? I'm placing this in front of the loudspeakers. Now my loudspeakers are very wide apart. So I was looking, how can I place it? Because if I place it too far back, the sound of the room, the interaction with the acoustics of the room become more apparent. I place the acoustic material behind it to try to minimize the sound of the room as much as possible so you can hear the uh, loudspeakers. And the reason that I'm trying this out is because the microphone that I'm using now that is on my video equipment is just a simple mono microphone. So all my vlogs have been done with a mono microphone. All the sounds that you have heard from my system has been done in mono. Not very um, important for YouTube, but I want to step up my game. And before I invest a lot of money, I thought, well, let's try out what I already have and let's see if this is working. So here you can see this is a USB microphone and this green cable is a Oyaida cable. You know, I like Oyaida cables at the moment. The white loudspeaker cables are Oyaida and over here all the big power cables are also from Oyaida. And I, before, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Before I had the blue sound right over there, the streamer, I was using my laptop. And I was using my laptop over there where the iPad now is standing. And I needed a long USB cable to go from the couch all the way to the PS Audio USB deck. And that's why I bought this cable five meters in length and this is plugged into my laptop this is a very old laptop and the reason that i'm happy now with the long usb cable is because when this thing needs to work the ventilator will make a lot of noise so now it's placed pretty far away from the microphone which is perfect for me so let's put this on and this is just audacity the program that you can uh, download for free from the internet so let's put this on record and i'll be switching between the mono microphone and the microphone that is standing there now this week i showed you my um compilation that I got from the thrift store and today we are listening to Dr. John. I'm just going to um, take you through the intros of the different songs so you get an idea of what this CD is all about. Um, and this is an experiment so tell me in the comment section is this something that I should do more often? Is this something that you like? And what is the quality of the recording? So let's play some Dr. John. Let's see if it's working. Ah, here we go. Oh. Uh -huh. 
CD that I scored this week and the amazing thing about it was that it's called Locked Down after a year in lockdown. What you have been listening to is the preamp from the ITOS, the two OTL mono power amps, the white Oyaida loudspeaker cable, my wonderful Ocelias, 98 db sensitivity 16 ohm loudspeakers and i have been playing the cd in the oppo blu-ray player but i'm using it as a transport transport and the ps audio da converter is the one that is doing the da conversion and now of course some power management and that's what you have been listening to. And that is all that I have for today. I hope this is something that we can do more often, not as a vlog, but just as me showing you some of my CDs. Well, give this thing a like because this is definitely going to be demonetized. And if they are going to block the CD completely, then this was all for nothing. But if you want to help me, give it a like, get some action into the comment section and I leave it with a wonderful view. It's a sunny day in Rotterdam. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.